All right, guys, welcome. Dom here. Welcome to the first video for 2024. And all this stuff that you're going to start me seeing me post will be inside my group because at the end of the day, it's the most central point. It's the easiest thing for me to do and for you to find this information. So if you're seeing this on the IG, the YouTube, the whatever, and this is normally some place that you see short, condensed, 15 second clips, this one's going to be a bit of a longer one. So head on over. The topic of today's discussion is why does muscle even matter? Why is muscle and building muscle and maintaining muscle important for us as we get older, particularly for longevity, particularly for things like bone density? And there are five reasons why, and we're just gonna jump straight into that one today. So first of all, muscle and longevity. Well, the studies will show us, because again, that's what the science guys do in this day and age, that muscle mass, independent of your fat mass, is inversely associated with mortality risk, right? And therefore in older adults. So the more muscle we've got, the less likely we are to suffer the consequences of poor metabolic health when we obviously get more obese and have a bit more of that body fat on us. Now the benefits of that is a longer and healthier life. It goes without saying. Contrary to that, most people, particularly when they get around my age and I'm turning 55 in the not too distant future, they don't do jack haul when it comes to doing that. In actual fact, that is contradictory to what they should be doing. They should be getting in, they may not have a home gym like me, but they should be getting in and they should be doing some strength, aka resistance training. Muscle and metabolism, that's the second point we're gonna talk on. It plays a key role in our metabolism. So when we have more muscle, it's metabolically hungry as a tissue and it means our body's gotta work a bit harder to maintain that, so therefore, when we do add muscle, we do speed up the metabolism. Now that's a good thing, particularly for those that you have been diet hopping over the last 10, 15, 20 years, your metabolism slows down and your body will also pare down the muscle because it's going, well, that's stuff that's hard to keep. Whereas if you turn that on its head and you build more muscle, I don't mean you're getting jacked and tanned, you're not gonna turn into Arnold or Daniel Lynn Bailey or anyone else out there that you might know in that fit pro bodybuilder space you're simply gonna be better for you. Now, that improved metabolism also helps in the weight management, the fat loss journey, and also things like overall energy, because that's one key thing I'm gonna talk about a lot this year is energy levels. Nothing worse than waking up feeling like you are shagged, knackered, haven't had any sleep. Weather here lately in Sydney hasn't helped that. Number three, bow density, and yes, you can see I'm reading this because I wanna keep my notes so therefore I don't run off track. Muscle supports the skeletal system, okay? The bones in our body. The more muscle we have, the greater structural integrity we have on our bones. And I've been using this phrase before. I don't want to slip, trip, and break a damn hip because I know what happens. I've seen it happen in my own family where someone's done that. They've inevitably ended up in hospital and the long-term outcome is not good. And in two occasions, two grandparents, I've seen that happen and the consequences are we have buried them. Not nice, it's a fact, it's reality, and all you have to do is look around, there's plenty of anecdotes. So therefore, strong muscles will help contribute to that better bone health because muscles are connected to the bone. Stronger muscles, bones gotta work, ligaments and tendons, all those types of things, therefore reducing the risk of things like osteoporosis, right? That's the weakening of the bones and therefore they become brittle. Number four, dietary protein and therefore muscular fitness. You've all seen this lately. I'm not gonna advocate carnivore. If that's not you, I'm not gonna advocate vegan. That's not me either. But the thing is, protein intake is crucial if you wanna maintain your muscular fitness and therefore the ability to repair your bones, repair your joints, repair your muscles, and keep living a little bit longer. So therefore, a protein-rich diet is something that you should be doing. And all this day and age about saving you from the cows farts, well, mate, the cows can fart until the cows come home. I would prefer that I don't slip over and break my damn hip because otherwise they'll be burying me. I will become the cows fertilizer, if that's the case. The last one, midlife muscle. That's a new phrase that I'd like to use because that's what we should be doing. In our 40s and 50s, we should be starting to think about this. And therefore that impacts our daily performance, our ability to get up, move, bend over, nothing worse, you know what it's like, bend over in the kitchen, go, oh, there goes the back again. So building muscle, maintaining it's essential for our improved day-to-day -day performance, especially if you're a busy parent running around chasing after kids, or you're that professional because you're gonna look good in the bag of fruit, 
and performance there's nothing worse than being shagged and muscle is going to help you do that never mind the fact people say you want to look good naked you look bloody good too even in your suit skirt or whatever else that you're wearing that has you in the office enhanced strength therefore becomes enhanced endurance enhanced endurance increased productivity more efficiently in your day-to-day -day activities whether you are a carer or a career person they are the things that is five we've just touched on longevity muscle metabolism bone health muscular support dietary protein daily protein and also daily performance if you want to know more please I'm going to put a link up in the bio thingy I'm going to give you access to the group these things that are a bit longer that's where you're going to find them I'm also going to put it on YouTube and also going to put it on a new channel over on LinkedIn so the rest is up to you like subscribe do your thing post a comment ask a question but what I would simply like us all to be doing is when we get to our 40s and 50s I want us to stop being weak Cheers.